So we've now done the configuration. So now let's have a look at running the back order processing and checking the results. So as a reminder, what I'm going to do is I've created or I've created a number of sales orders here and they all have different allocations. Now I've created uh, one uh, sales order here at the bottom that has all of the allocation. And what we're going to do is after we run the back order processing, you should see that all of the other buckets will get these allocations. So first of all, let's schedule the back order processing run. And we can do that if we click on this button here, schedule BOP run. Well, yeah. click on this and there's no run for today. So I'm going to create one run by pressing the plus button here. And it has a standard template, which is okay. I've already marked it to start immediately, right? If I click on the scheduling options here, of course, it's immediate. If I click on parameters, the only thing I'm missing, of course, is my variant name. So let me pull the variant name out. And of course, the variant name matches uh, the variant that we've created, the sort. I click on schedule. And because it's done automatically or in the background, if we go back, and if I now click on monitor BOP run, we should see all of the runs that we have. And notice here now we have the results. And let's take a bit of time to see what the screen is showing us. Now, on the left hand side, you have the variant that you used, of course, when it started, when it's complete, the processing status, of course the requirements, i.e. how many sales orders it processed or how many documents it processed. And here in this bucket here, you can see um, the requirements that were confirmed on time. So it says, it tells you here how many uh, documents, where it changed uh, and where the requirements so that we could deliver it on time. And you can see here, um, if we look at this one here, you can see that the requirement on time improved. So we were um, we were started on 15%, of course, um, and we improved it to 31%. So we're hitting a, a better or improving our confirmation time. The only thing to ask if the next one here, of course, we have the requirement fully confirmed. So did we confirm everything? Well, there were some partials and so forth. And you can see there's a drop here from 85 to 25%. Of course, uh, that's fine because we've been allocating from one order to another. And it's up to each organization to decide how to balance the on time and the requirements in full. So if I now click on the BOP Abdul sort here, we can have a look at the result of the run. And you can always see here it's a divided by material and plant. So let's have a look here. Um, let's look at this plant here, you can see. And you can see all of the redistribution or, or rescheduling uh, based on ATP. So now let's take a little bit of time to explain or to understand what we're seeing here. On the far left here, we have the sales order, material, and plant. We then have the bucket that this sales order is in. You can see lose, fill, distribute, gain. Uh, remember, I've only created one sales order per bucket, so that's only one, but when you run it for your organization, you would see lots of sales documents in each bucket here, right? And you can see which segment it belongs to, of course, and then you can see here the earliest confirmation. So you can see on the top, the loss bucket is losing a lot of confirmation, right? And the fill and win bucket, the fill bucket here is, it's moved from losing to increasing. Yeah. Um, and this is the same as the confirmation. So when can it, when can it be confirmed? The second part is the earliest confirmation. So whether it's on time and in full, you can see again, 
there are some wins. If we have a look at uh, the gain bucket here, we can see that the overall conformation has increased. There's no plant sub substitution that was happening. We have the processing status and of course we have the confirmation status. So this is what you would be expected to see uh, if or when you run this new BOP allocation. So as you can see, each bucket in itself uh, gets from the other buckets, yeah? So that's it. That's how the new BOP scheduling or rescheduling functionality works in S4.